hi guys hope you guys are having a really good day and that you guys had a good weekend and week and yeah so anyway so today i am doubling from the previous challenge which was 19 towels so this is 36 if i'm not mistaken yes 36 towels okay i realized i made a mistake it's not 36 towels it's 38 as i was re watching what i was saying or hearing what i was saying drinking my coffee i was like whoa girl your math is wrong it's 38 but this actual house is 36 towels so yes i don't have a with two towels so yeah i only realized now after basically two weeks and basically i'm going for a mid-century home which i never done before i never like tackled into the mid-century style before so yeah so basically the picture that i showed in the beginning the first picture was basically the you know like inspo colors because like i don't know really what's the colors for exterior house of a mid-century house because sometimes i see teal yellow orange then bricks whatever whatever so yeah so i just went on pinterest searched and then like specifically for the exterior and then i got like my color combos for the exterior of the house so yeah so that's that um honestly i do think the shape of the house look like a mid-century house i'm not sure to but the colors and like the interior but the shape like it like a mid-century house from what i gathered as a very like you know distinct like very different style um bold shape and that from a lot of other houses for example for me like okay no, i'm not gonna give you examples <laughs> anyways so yeah but i really like the outside and then this is the inside and the picture i showed now is basically the color scheme and whatnot that i want to go for in this house so what i noticed was also in mid-century bowls like interior wise there's a lot of like orange stone hoods so i do have that cabinet in my game but i didn't go for it i eventually just went for like a bit more darker to that orange stone but yeah i see it's mostly like orange stone and it's like now and then white walls and then it's like you know a colorful couch or whatnot so yeah but i think the exterior looks really great i'm actually proud of myself uh if i'm honest because it looks different from most of the houses that I do, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, so I'm really proud of what I've done on the exterior of the house. How I built it and everything in that. Because I did build it from, you know, my brain. <laughs> like, I'm always joking. I built it from my brain. And then I just went on Pinterest and I just looked at the houses. And that's where I got the idea to do the roofing what i done because i noticed that the roofing is always on an angle in mid century houses so that's what i went for also i love how i build like the exterior in general like with the landscaping and that and you know like blocking off like on a big lot so basically it's like how do i explain this like i don't know but like kind of make it some of the more neighborhood because i like, i do make a base game version of this so basically i build it next to it so it looked like it's like an actual neighborhood because i like, i don't know if you get this in real life because like i know like yeah uh, where i live like the houses are basically next, uh, next to each other like you and your neighbors share a fence i saw that also in some youtube videos uh, people like, people lives in america the same but like in the sims of course it's like a whole big gap of like grass from you and your neighbor so yeah so i do like how i build this so yeah i feel like i'm gonna start building more like that i think the loft and the 19 tall house got me to build like this because this house is kind of next to each other and it was like oh that kind of look cool so i was like okay let me build this on a big lot also kind of next to the 19 tall house because you know when i take like a screenshot you know you, know, you just look outside like more like on a wider scale you know like everything looks like you know like fold if that makes sense so yeah so anyways that that's what happened but i was like okay let me also build it a bit a lot so i can like you know fences upright and why not and you know maybe in future we'll build on that lot further so yeah so it kind of become like a neighborhood if that makes sense but yeah i'm really proud of how i done the landscaping uh not 
entirely the whole landscaping goes i only like the front of the landscaping like the backyard i hate the backyard i don't know what i've done in the backyard but i just hate the back backyard but yeah but i do really like this kitchen i like the color scheme in the kitchen i like the entryway where i put that vertical stuff there with the like you know pop of the huge shelves and then the thing in the living room so yeah i like to divide not to divide but i like to close off the room more further also i like very picky with colors and i don't normally go for this like you know hood hood especially in the sims because this hood looks very weird if i'm honest um but i don't normally go for this also this um is it called a feature wall? I don't know if it's really a feature wall. But with the TV is that specific wallpaper, which I downloaded like a while back. Always contemplating on deleting it because I never use it. So yeah, I never use it. But this is my first time using it. And I think it suits this house. So perfectly honest. And honestly, and honestly, it's very hard to find that hood also on Pinterest personally. Because I go on everything on Pinterest. Also, on Pinterest, I've seen many of the houses had these type of blue tiles um or wood floors or something like that it's more like a wood tile floor in the houses but anyways we are gonna go into the tour of this house and this is a house which i feel like is so beautiful it kind of look like it is kind of a big house but anyways i love the landscaping i just love everything about it so yeah i even like the back like the back of the house like you know you you normally don't like the back of the house when you build in the sims but genuinely this is the first house that i actually like how the back of the house okay not the first house but like you know the first house that i really 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 like how the back of the house look just not like the backyard like on the floor but like building wise shape wise i really love how it looks so yeah Anyways, also I added this orange light on top of some places, you know, just to add more pop of color. But anyways, this is the entryway, which I really love. I feel like making that red shelves there was, you know, a really good choice. And kind of making something look like it's a built-in, you know, feature all when you're in. Ignore the mailbox, I always forget to put mailboxes in my house, including the bins. But anyways, this is the bathroom, which I actually also really love the bathroom. I'm a bit iffy about the living room. Um, I was struggling with it a bit. Anyways, this is the bedroom, which is, you know, just a simple bedroom. And then this is the backyard. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I know my voice sounds like it's going away. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And that you have a good day further, good night and morning. And stay safe and peace out and bye.